Hi, everybody. My name is Nanika Edwards. I am a poet, artist, author, linguist, and educator from Trinidad and Tobago. And I'm continuing with the theme of marriage. Want to have a great marriage? Start off with a deep down commitment to do what God doesn't say, but commands. Flee fornication, any sexual gratification outside of marriage. And if you want to have a healthy marriage, then it is best to avoid the promiscuity pandemic that wrecks individuals and relationships around the planet. That's a fact. If you don't believe me, check out some YouTube videos on the topic and scroll through the comment sections. See what the average Joe and Jane would typically be saying. There's a good deal of regret, shame, and heavy, heavy baggage that weighs people down when we gratify ourselves sexually outside of divinely prescribed marital boundaries. This could be avoided, albeit hormones may put up a fight, but not a challenge that can't be successfully challenged. For singles, don't mingle your soul with other souls and make a spiritual cocktail of your very being by being blasé about sex. It will mess up your marriage. Don't listen to the wait until you're ready advice. It's baloney. You are not God. No matter how smart you are, you really have no idea what quote-unquote, ready, really looks like. You might think that he or she is the one and dive into bed together and set off major and massive fireworks only to later discover that the one was really one absolute D-I-C-K. You really can't go wrong with the Bible's godly advice of waiting to say, I do, before doing any dooby-doo, to borrow from Freddy DeAnda, who I follow online. For married couples, polyamorous relationships do not end well, and to date, there is no credible study that suggests or confirms anything to the contrary. I learned that on the YouTube channel, The Dr. John Deloney Show. Adultery is never, ever worth it. I've learned that firsthand from my own family and from all the stories I see and hear on social media. Incest is abominable. That is morally vomitous to God and to most right-thinking people as well. Don't touch your kids. Don't touch anyone's kids. You know what I mean in that way. Women... Don't weaponize sex. That's a very cruel bargaining chip. Men, don't force yourself on your wife. That's tantamount to rape. Shacking up is not the same as being married. Not according to the Bible. I'm not going to provide an exhaustive list of what fornication includes, but the list is not short. Today, I have shared the ones that tend to trip up the average couple struggling to keep their marriage together. The bottom line for today's advice is, can you remember? Flee fornication. People are often indignant when they feel that God is raining on their parade, but God never said he didn't want us to enjoy a soul bliss party for two and fun times. He's just saying, don't pop no champagne and don't blow no whistles and don't twerk and get frisky until you've said, I do, because that is the way of minimal regret and pain and grief. That's just how he set it up. And if we people were reasonable, we would have to agree that this actually makes sense.
And now I'd like to share one of the proverb poems, proverb poems, you could see. I'm not quite sure what to call these. They're proverbs, but they're also poems at the same time. Anyways, this one features in my book, A Poet's Proverbs, book six. A Poet's Proverbs, six. Um, there's no particular title for this piece. So let me just, so I'll just go ahead and read it. So, S-O-W, so fornication, reap, shame, regret, self-cheapening, locker room jock talk, revenge porn, sextortion, wailing pregnancy, abortion, infection, disease, racing fantasies, financial woes, marital foes, family peace and honor, frown raided, destiny downgraded. And if you wonder what I mean by destiny downgraded, you can look up the account of Reuben in the Bible and um, his relationship with his father's concubine. And you can look at what his father Jacob said when he blessed his sons um, when he was on his deathbed. And you can see what he said to Reuben. And that will explain that last line, destiny downgraded. That is the ultimate and I think the most saddening effect of sowing fornication, especially when it is not just in the mind, but also physically, when, when it's physically, when it's a physical reality, let's put it like that, when we actually you know, um, tamper with each other, if I could put it like that, when we fiddle with each other and, you know, go further than we ought to. I remember at one church that I went to as a young person, and I'm kind of going off script here, but I remember as a young person at one church that I went to, they used to say from the pulpit when they were talking about sex and so on, which I'm grateful that they spoke about so frankly and openly. They said, how far, people want to know how far should I go? And they always used to say, don't go. You don't go anywhere. You know, um, some people say, ah, you know, if we kiss, but, uh, you know, there's no penetration, that's okay. But kissing, even kissing is, is, is too far. Kissing is too far. Kissing is too far because it can lead you further. And when you kiss, even if there's no actual sexual intercourse, you do exchange bodily fluids. Um, you are, you know, physically uh, stepping beyond the bounds which God has in his goodness and his love that he has prescribed for us. And so even kissing on the lips, I mean, I don't mean on the cheek or on the forehead or something like that, but, you know, on the cheek or, you know, the way the French do it, you know, the debonair way where they may, you know, just gently take the lady's hand and kiss it on the back or something like that. That's fine. But kissing on the lips is going too far, if you were wondering, right? So how far should I go if you want to be safe? absolutely safe. Don't go. Don't go anywhere. How far? Nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere until we say I do. So that's it. Um, I hope that this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, thank you for giving it a thumbs up. There are more to come. And if you would like to receive notifications when I share new content on this channel, then thank you for subscribing. Until next time.